So that the your, your uncle is the same guy you've been working for, or it's a no, different person? No, it's my it's my nephew's cousin. Okay. I'm, I'm still I still working with him. It when when I had um remember, I remember I told you or oh, did you see the brace on my hand? I think you mentioned that before. Well, damn, I just took it off like two weeks Dang, ago. Oh, that was a bad cut. What happened? Shit, ain't no cut. That's my tooth mark. I don't play no guy. I'm not. Ask Dylan Roof. Ask him. Them the same ones that had put Dylan Roof ass to sleep. Okay. <laughs> Listen, both of them. You want both of them? I, I think I can whoop Mayweather ass on some real okay, shit. Okay. Okay. Like the beat. Yeah. Your stuff just here is your stuff back here too. Oh no, that shit. All that shit is without Ben's supposed to throw away for the. But they kept making the promise. I picked up the drawers. What size you wear? You were staying back here before 2015. Yeah. So how long you still? How long was that total before the whole thing went down? Before the whole thing went down with the robbery or the so-called robbery? Oh shit. What you mean? How long you staying back here before the robbery happened? Years. So no. I guess I was getting love here, and people mm. started noticing like shit, girl. Cause in the summertime, oh, I don't be all up on this shit here. Right. Man, look, I, I'll take me fucking. I'll probably get that blanket, spread that shit across that fucking shit, and 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 have my sister give me another blanket. I'm under the fucking trees like a right. picnic and shit. Where nobody just ride past me. Like, hey, you wanna? You wanna do my trash? Shit, sure not. When you meet Dwayne, you realize you're meeting a different kind of individual. Just the way that he thinks about stuff, the way he processes things, and the way that he sees the world. So, we're gonna start with, who is Dwayne? If you had to describe yourself, what would you say? Super energetic, funny, loyal, also humble. Yeah, just super, super me, you know? Different. Damn it, everything I do is pure. Like, everything I say, how I feel, and I come off at it, don't care if nobody, like, how I come at it, or, or it, so, yeah. So Free-spirited, wild heart type thing, yeah. A shooting at Emanuel AME Church happened around 9 o'clock this evening. The search is still on for that gunman, a 21-year-old, they believe, a white male. Police say one of the survivors is a 5-year-old who played dead when the shooting started. The gunman, still armed, is taken into custody during a traffic stop without incident. I was uh, in cell 21, 23. I just was fucked up. Like, you just don't know. I was thinking, like, about what if that was my grandma, somebody died in the church. People, you say, people, there was body, like, how I was hearing them, like. In a city where we had just been dealing with Walter Scott. You know, the African American community is feeling like, you know, we just want our voices heard and to see this happen. And you're like, man, we can't win right now. Like, that's the one thing that you hear growing up. It's like, if you're not in the streets and not being a gangbanger, if, if you're in church doing the right thing, you'll be fine, you'll be safe. It's like, you're not even safe in church. There is something particularly heartbreaking about death happening in a place in which we seek solace and we seek peace. I believe that the way Charleston is, is um, we've got a past 
dealing with racial issues that we are very slow to acknowledge. This is where first slaves stepped foot in the United States. They showed the bridge march, and that was a beautiful thing. It looked great. It was great PR for Charleston after that happened. But it was people there that was in pain and, and still hurting and never really addressed the hurt because the kumbaya moment overshadowed the actual pain that people were dealing with. While I'm dealing with what took place, what the Dylan Roof did, Dwayne's processing this while he's in jail. The Confederate flag flies over South Carolina and the roads are named for Confederate generals. And the white guy's the one who feels like his country's being taken away from him. It's, it's interesting to see somebody that can deal with what he dealt with, be, pretty much being left alone in a jail for so long, his dad passing away in jail at, while, while, he, while he's locked up. Who can live like that? Like, who can live with knowing that I was in jail for almost two years and I, I will still be in jail right now if somebody never, didn't come and get me? You got overcrowded prisons, overcrowded detention centers. You got people awaiting trials that probably should have the opportunity to be on the street while they're waiting there. I mean, there's, if there's one thing we need, it's a reform in our justice system. After I got a, like, after they sent me to the jailhouse for the week, the next day I found out that I got charged with armed robbery. Like, taking something for somebody at all, or beating somebody ass, or whatever the fucking case may be, is incorrect. His situation is, you know, symbolic of a larger problem that we have in our criminal justice system. And that's oftentimes that you've got defendants who are um, of low means or no means, and it left him at the back, you know, at the back of the waiting list. I was about to take a plea, but then again, I, I kept always like, no, fuck no. I was, in my head, you know, I'm thinking like, boy, fuck this shit, boo. Like, is this shit serious? I, I'm not knowing them. I'm thinking, okay, fuck it. Robbery. I don't know what this shit is, so I'm thinking like, I can't take the rap for something like that. That's stupid. But you've been here for damn like two years. All I get getting was some motherfucking bullshit. This morning at about uh, 7.45 a.m., inmate Dylan Roof was let out of his cell Another inmate by the name of Dwayne Stafford, black male, 25, ran down the stairs and was able to get to roof, punched him a number of times and assaulted him quickly. If so many people view this story so many different ways, like some people think he's a vigilante and he shouldn't have done it, but when you hear his story, it just makes more sense of why it all went down. Dwayne Stafford allegedly snuck out of his cell to corner roof and give him what is hopefully the first of many more beatings to come. What I do think is interesting about this story is that he's been in prison since January of 2015 waiting trial. If we start rewarding vigilante justice, that's a really bad precedent to set. Roof, Roof is, Roof is a character, man. <laughs> I, and I, I mean, like when I say character, uh, ain't nothing wrong with him. It was interesting hearing the story how they were able to kind of form a rapport where they were having conversations, and he was getting closer to him. And the two of them talked for hours. Upon hours. And you know the one thing that Dwayne told me 
that kind of shook me just talking to him was how there was no remorse and that if he could do it again, he would. Well, he said, uh, I thought I killed a little girl, but um, they told me I didn't kill her, so I'm like, like not happy about that or whatever. He was like talking like, I was like, and this dude, he really thought he killed that little girl. Like, and I told him, no, you didn't kill her, bro. Like, like just being real, like you didn't kill her. Like, her granny made her play dead with someone else's blood. And I told him that. It's still my conviction that Dylan Roof had a beating coming to him for what he did. If Dwayne had plans to fight Dylan Roof, those plans were pushed forward a little faster after what was said about his father. Roof came off Rick and I was like, is it true you said something about uh, you want to start a, 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 a race war or some shit like that? He was like, man, fuck that shit. And um, he was like, fuck your dad too. And and that shit, that shit that get me, man, I knew I was going fucking damn near. <laughs> F your daddy? After my daddy just died? And you the same cat that killed nine people and wish you killed the little girl that you left alive? Something's gonna happen. Something's gonna happen to you. I wanted to swear so bad that the fact that I accidentally swore and said that I'm gonna get to him on my daddy's grave. A grave I haven't even saw yet. What ended up happening is he had, um, he had found a way out of his cell. I'm skipping, I'm almost to the shower. Like, man, listen, I know he in the last shower because that's, that's the shower. I told him that's the shower. That's the best shower with the water, man. So he's reaching for the towel. Do that shit. But he had looked like he was scared, like, out his ass. Like, he was, like, gripping up and the shit. Bitch, are you scared for him hit you yet? Like, what's up? And then, boom. Racist and accused killer. I rocked him with the left, and he, as he fell back in the shot and started rocking him some more, like, I, I'm talking about just, he was just throwing them shits, man. I was like, boom, 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 every time he kept, like, I, I, he, it sounded like he was whimpering. And this is chilling. You can see a black car pulling into a parking space. Like, my first 20 hits, it sounded like he was just whimpering, but I, I gave him a couple uppercuts. That's how I knew that I was getting them, like, drowsy, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I started throwing them shit some more, like, threw some more uppercuts, and then I grabbed his head. I hit that nigga like one, two, three, and it, his eyes shut. Like he been done. Like his body just was done. Man, I just started bam, bam. I hit the shower water. People killed overnight in a massacre in a historic black church. I just was standing there with nigga blood on my damn boxes and shit. I know a lot of people uh, see him as a vigilante trying to get famous for what he did. I think when it got to that point, it was so much of a personal thing that he probably thought that it would only stay in the jail. I was in jail for crimes I did. Like they charged me with the shit, the wrong shit. So I would do that whole shit again, just, just cause. And, and if I stayed in jail, like if my bond didn't get paid for, I still do it. Cause I didn't know I was getting out, being honest. So I do that shit over and over. I'm talking about exactly how I whooped that ass to Iron Line. Like. This guy 
face what a lot of people face post prison. Like he has nowhere to go. He doesn't have any real money or anything really to sustain himself. Now that he's out of jail, it's he doesn't have the opportunity to really have a you know, roof over his head. I'm limited on what food he has. He isn't able to get any gainful employment. Everybody knew him. The whole world knew him one day. And the next day, he's, he's homeless. He told me the day he, the day he got out, he says, man, it's been a long time since I've been able to breathe fresh air like this. And he said, this is probably the best feeling, one of the best feelings I had in my life. You were in jail for over 500 days. So what is that like to see, okay, and now I'm out. Now, don't you think, okay, how can I make the best out of this situation now? Since the night I got out of jail, I really ain't been thinking about the past. Trying not to. It's, it's, it's not like a second chance. This is like my opportunity back. Like, I, my chance took him from me. That's how I'm feeling. Like, it ain't. Oh, I got a second chance. No, I feel like my first chance was taken anyway. Like, they didn't care. Like, that's how I feel. Me and Dwayne have had conversations on how he wants to be remembered. And it's not for beating up Dylan Roof. Dwayne wants to be remembered as someone that contributed to society. He's a kid. He's a kid who likes to dance. He's so much more than a headline. What do you want to be remembered for? Um, continuously being positive. Like, that's it. See the white? Where? On this side or the other on side? On this side. I see a white building right there. Yeah, that's that's it. Right there, right there? Mm-hmm. Uh-uh. -uh. We'll see. So you need to tell me like on this street, you know, I mean it's probably mm -hmm. back. Man, that's So crazy. you see you got beige, 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 and then just turns white right there? Mm -hmm. That's it. Why'd you want to? Why'd you want to come to, be, to begin with? It's the opposite. Of what he did. He went, obviously, we two uh, different type of people. Cause he want to kill, and all I want to do is love. But cool. so you grew up in church. So mm -hmm. while you sitting here, like this brings back memories of being in church. So you can actually see, like that being your own people in that situation. Mm -hmm. Eighteen, eighteen, man. I wonder how that feeling was with, like, once they just, like, that, that, that one feeling, but he's shooting crazy, but, you know what I'm saying, like, they was just, like. I'm pretty sure it was this feeling that we, none of us want to ever experience. I mean, nobody's expecting that kind of stuff to happen. Yeah, I just read that just now. I said love is stronger than hate. Of course it is because um, I love the roof enough not to kill him. That's why I don't hate him. Is that a work? That, that, that's, that I think that adds up in my head. For is that how you really feel? That's I mean, what I'm saying. Like and Personally, I don't, I don't fault you if you... Like, Harbor, I don't hate him. Hard That's why man. I didn't kill it. Because if I hated his ass, like, on some, like, I don't even know how to define it. I mean, I think it takes, it, it's going to take time. What, how they were able to forgive him, that was something that only God can give them. But we're not in that situation. 
So we might not have that same grace that they would have to forgive a like, like Dylan Roof. So I don't blame anybody who doesn't, who's not at the point right now where they feel like they can forgive Dylan Roof right now. So if that's, so I mean, whatever your two feelings are, I wouldn't, I wouldn't feel guilty about it. I, I don't, it's, man, can we go on? I don't start crying. I'm trying to keep smiling, but y'all don't want to, like, can we keep going now?